What is good? We're back. Still not a full tripod, but I promise we will get back there one day. We got guys going in every direction, but I'm staying true to you guys. I'm here for you. We're pumping out content, trying to, uh, you know, making it rain mm -hmm. shows. I'm trying to open this damn beer, but I just cut my fingernails. Mm. A struggle. Everybody has known from time to time. <laughs> what teeth? What? <laughs> What? What? I tried to get a soundbite of that, and I Give couldn't a get a good one. Yeah. It's mostly just the crowd saying it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today we're gonna, it'll get you drunk. We're gonna try to move a little quicker, but but you know the FFD style. Sometimes we get bogged down in the minutia and the details, and and when we'll have plenty of long shows. But um, today we're gonna do uh, a little. We've been doing a lot of mock drafts, right? Um, a little, little fun sound for you that we've been doing a lot of mock drafts. I think that intro was hot. With, my bad. With our Patreon members and with some general publics, and we're creating our own ADP. We're not quite there yet. We haven't been able to uh, spit it out. So we're using DLF ADP in a lot of in some of the talk today. Um, certainly not the homeless shelter keep trade cuts. Junk. People are not happy with you about that. Bring it all. Like this is we're your we're your audience. I'm like, well, settle down. Yeah. Well. You got to get rid of... There's Listen, too much trash in there. You go a little hard at the paint, Adam. It's a decent concept. And the website itself is Yeah, homeless isn't shelters bad. are a decent concept, too. The, the, Good the, for them. The website's gets... not bad, but when you when you force someone to click a button three times before yeah. they enter your site, you're not going to get honest results. Yeah, just uh, get uh, me through this so I can see what I want. We need, like, better, knowledgeable people that are actually going to spend time to make ADP, not just right. this Re regardless, homeless shelter. <laughs> regardless... It's a nice concept, but uh, you know, it's not, it's not, the execution isn't right. Um, regardless, we I've, we've compiled a little bit of list of guys that since we've been doing these mocks that you're never really looking at when you're drafting these guys. So we're gonna call this six players to avoid when you're doing your startup superflex tight end premium drafts. We might have more than six. I, I don't know. Um, the, the YouTube likes a number. I love a number. If you could give me a. Just list of guys and hurry the fuck up. And we're going to try to just list them all I'm, off. And we're we going to get the fuck out of here. We're going to keep it moving. <laughs> here. We're going to try to keep it moving. We're not going to get in our normal lengthy discussion. Yes, be a little will. less context, I think, provided in these. But, you know, the duration will be a little shorter and, and YouTube will love it. So let's uh, let's neither, get it rolling. Neither of those things are going to be true. No, probably not. All right. First thing, this isn't so much a player that I'm necessarily avoiding. Oh, so you're already. What's that? Not going with the well. I'll, I'll jump theme. We got a bunch of players as your first player. Well, it's more of just like rounds one through three. I am not drafting any running back. Not named Bijan, JT, or Brees. Those are I've been avoiding pretty much every other running back. What besides about Kenny those Three guys. Sticks? Kenny Three Sticks at the end of the third. I can get down on. Um, again, we're talking super flex tight end premium uh, startup drafts right. here. Every value um, we're talking about, every draft we're talking about, this is all super. Flex just adjust accordingly for your one QB league, but I'm typically avoiding those guys. Uh, you know, ETN fourth round, maybe uh, Saquon fourth round. Um, you know, uh, Najee Harris fourth fifth round. Jacobs for sure in the fourth round, but he's the only one that I feel great about um, next up in line. So basically, I've been avoiding rounds one through three. Any running back named Bijan, not named Bijan JT. Brees. Et in the fourth? Did you say Et? I say Et maybe in the fourth, but I maybe you know, I'm not I'm not loving it. I don't think I've drafted Et in any of these drafts. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! All day, son. That man's a mad efficient. All right, so you can put number move. you can put number number one <laughs> running backs, not named Bijan, Jt, or Brees. Just right. avoid all running backs. <laughs> yeah. Could have left it at that. <laughs> um, so that's not what I'm saying. There's you got to pick your spot. <laughs> um, Tua would be my next guy. And it's not for, I, I've been a, you can go find a video from last off season where I'm giving Tua all the flowers and really believing in him. And I like Tua, I really do. But right now, DLF's got him at ADP 22. And I just can't right now. I, I'll buy back in. 22's hot. This draft, he went 4 2, and it's not as bad as. Right. At 2 2. Or at 4 2. 2 12. At 4 2, I'll, I, I will take, I would gladly take the shot on Tua. But in the second round, man, I just, I need to see a year of him coming through and, and not getting, 
you know, foggy up there. And I, I hope so. And I want to be wrong for avoiding him here because he should be an end of the first round player and second round all day. But for me, I haven't looked at him in the second round. I'm just scared to death to take him now. You seems like you can get a nice little insurance policy with Mike White. Mike White. But... Uh, you know, I think me and Big Co talked about this. I asked Big Co a couple of these questions beforehand since he wasn't going to be here. He also agrees with Tua and the Mike White. Um, you know, just avoiding Tua right now that early. I like Tua and I hope I'm wrong and I'll buy back in on the Tua if we can. You know, I know Big Co for a while was out on Aaron Rodgers because of a collarbone because yeah. they had to put that back together a few times, which is the dumbest shit ever. This he one, had a wider, he had a QB one overall season after that. Yeah, which you know th- this is a little different. This is little different. You know, neurological Not a collarbone problems it's where, a, but the team seems to be like yeah they so they they reassured where I was really feeling good about this uh not taking him there in my stance and then the team re-ups in the fifth year which you know i don't think they really had much of a choice but uh i hope that he goes out there and crushes like he was in spurts last year i really liked Tua. i was a big supporter but i have been avoiding Tua in pretty much all the startups at, at the cost for the most part um do you have anybody that you want to bring up I mean, I think we should go with your next one that you have on there, right? Okay. Well, I can go right to the next one, and we're sticking in quarterback vein here. Right. And pretty much the same vein as Tua is Trey Lance at 40, DLF's ADP of 47, which isn't too far off of where he's been consistent. Like, he's usually fourth roundish for what we've been seeing in our drafts. And it's, again, it's just the cost, and there hasn't been – I haven't seen enough. We don't know what the hell's going to go on in the San Francisco 49ers. You could get a nice little value spike if he does get traded on draft day. I think you would then get another value spike. But I think it's also going to be tough in the court of public opinion for Trey Lance to, unless he comes out and crushes it right away, People are so impatient and they're going to be like, he's three years in the league and he still sucks. Well, he hasn't really played it, but nobody cares about that. People context. already say he sucks. Right. And it's like he had sure. one game. Right. And in a monsoon. So, you know, go trade him and then let him and let him have an OK season. And I think the bottom will fall out of the value a little quicker. I mean, fantasy wise, he'll still probably be fine because he can run. And I think if you went to a place like Nashville and the Titans, I think that would make a whole lot of sense and be really good for him. I think he almost needs to start over and get somewhere fresh. So he's not looking over his shoulder every move under the microscope of who's it going to be. Oh, you screw up here. Oh, you got to put Brock in. He almost needs a clean fucking start where he is the guy and can move forward. And I hope that happens for him almost. And maybe it's the Niners, but... And, I, and I've been a big proponent of Lance and I like Lance. And I, again, just like Tua, I will gladly buy back in on Lance and say I was wrong. I want to be in on Lance. I like the, the Niners. I like that the Niners liked them. You got the the uh, the guy from the Niners, the player personnel guy, uh, Carthright going over there to the Titans as mm. the GM now. So I've heard some chatter that they might be moving up to get a quarterback. Maybe, in the maybe draft. they will. Maybe they will. But maybe they can't. And this is the next mm-hmm. best option. Hey, we yeah. can trade you. The, we can give you the eleventh pick or whatever they have. Uh, to I'm actually kind of surprised that his value is this high in in startups, which is basically why stuff. I'm staying away from right because it's, right it's the upside that's what's keeping it there sure. because you can't envision. I just can't see him being the starter over Purdy anymore. I, how could, how can he be? How can he be? To, from what you just saw from Purdy and how that offense functioned, whether you can say it's an it's a, a function of the system or not. Well, fuck. Purdy came in there and was better, ran that system better than Jimmy did, at least for your fantasy team, uh, and that's what we're doing. Uh, you know, your fantasy team functioned a whole lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh, Debo's and and the run games and the Kittles I, uh, were you know and CMC right. So you know. We, all Purdy did was come in and win. I don't care how it was getting done and what you think about Purdy, but all he came in and win, and Jimmy did the same thing, but Purdy did it a little different than Jimmy did right off the rip as a rookie. Uh, so how, how can it be? That's what I'm saying. Like, almost Lance needs a reset um, to not be having to look over his shoulder because you can't, you can't play like that, man. you gotta, you got to have the confidence that it's your team, it's your guys, the locker room's not divided. This is, this is my show, and I'm moving forward. That's, that's kind of part of you know, how that goes. If you have two... What's that saying? If if you have two, you don't have one or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Except with the 49ers, they got like three. Like <laughs> yeah, and they're rumored to Mac Jones and Kirk Cousins and every, you know, everybody. Nah, you, you know. rumored them to I, Lamar. Yeah, that was. If anybody's leaking that out, you know, I, well, Shanahan <laughs> did address it, but what did he say? He said that you know we love Lamar, but our team's built in a way that we're we like where we're at cap wise with how we're playing the mm-hmm. quarterback position. Mm-hmm. No shit. Not playing. Right. Um, 
All right. You got somebody else? You got well, I guess let's throw a wide receiver in here, mm-hmm. finally. And Is it DJ Moore? I know you hate DJ Moore. Man, I really wanted to put DJ <laughs> Moore on this list because I think he's a good... I don't know. I, part I, I'm so torn with DJ Moore because I was a big hater last year, and I, his dad I, got on YouTube and yelled at you. Yep, yep. DJ Moore's father came at me and said, "He's good." I'm a and, bad father. Yeah, you're not. When you show up, if <laughs> if uh, having sex, <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> um. I'm a brunette. I just wanted to drop Give you a, a liar, liar so. drop a liar, liar quote. Um. That last stretch of games that DJ Moore had at the end when Sammy Darnold came in, it you was feed like, him, he, oh, shit. You he feed is. Him, he works. He can be good. And Justin Fields is like the best quarterback he's ever sniffed like around. And I, I'm, I'm all in on Justin Fields. I don't know how much of a step forward he's going to take with passing, but it's a good move for the Bears. I don't know if it's going to work out for DJ Moore or not. The value that you could get on DJ Moore selling him was pretty hot for a minute. You could get up into the mid first round he's still using a, DJ he's at Moore. Fifty seven with DLS ADP, and I know they're usually like a couple weeks. Behind. I'm never looking at DJ Moore around that range. Yeah, you know, I can't say that I necessarily am either. That's so. that's fifth round. It's the middle of the fifth round. Like, let's pull up a play. Let's play pull up the draft here. You've got six six in this last one that that I think you have pulled up six six and six nine. And there the, is six six. Yeah. Last two. And, you know, Quentin Johnson goes two picks before him. Christian Watson, Chris Godwin. You could get some, like, Russell Wilson, you know. I think I'd rather have Russell. Like, there's, I'm just never looking at him. And, and if you can get up into the mid-first round and and if you can move him right now, I, there's nothing. I'm definitely – I'm not, like, avoiding him. I'm just not looking at him. And if you could sell him, it's a different show, right, selling him versus avoiding him in a startup. And he fa- Thor- uh, newsflash for everybody out there. They're all the same thing, just with different names. Well, if you're doing a startup, <laughs> you're not going to be selling players. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm not avoiding him. I'm probably not drafting him, though. So I guess that's kind of like avoiding him. Yeah, but, so you got a bonus guy in there. You, we took him off the list. You put him back on the list. Now, who, well, you, who, was, the, you who was the other guy? Who was the other guy? You could have just simply said, no, it's not DJ Morris. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather pass on DJ, take another player, and scoop Mooney in the 13th. You know, that's that's. Then you could get Claypool in like the 20th. I'm, just, I'm all set on Claypool. I'll, I I'll think, take. I love I love that late Claypool. He sucks. Well, he might suck, but whatever. He's costing you nothing. That's true, but I'll take a swig on someone else who's not so fucking sucky and soft. <laughs> Such arrogance, not good. I think we just did uh, 18 rounds. I don't even think he got drafted. Yeah. So I'm going to put, I hate to do it because I like this man, Terry McLaurin. Well, it's, it's, sometimes it's not about like or dislike. Right. I'm not looking at him. It's, it's, and he's at 81 right now in DLF ADP. So where, that's, that's like right inside the seventh round. This is super flex. Seven times 12 is 84. And Jahan Dotson's at 94. So that's, or sorry, 95. So that's a f- over a round later. I- I'd rather pass on Terry, who's 27. In 28, an 28 that I don't in September. Know. So basically when the season starts, 28. Locked up. Through, Basically dead. Locked up to the Redskins through 25. Commanders. They have, they have, can't go anywhere. Sorry, Redskins. Can't go anywhere. They do have an out the year before that, I think. But still, he's locked up yeah. there for a while. And Terry is just awesome. Awesome guy. Awesome player. The fact that he's even fantastic. this high with the quarterbacks that he's had. Right. Fantastic player. But I'm not looking at him in I'm startups. Not, I'm not either. I'm never. I've he's never, not. He's never been in my queue. You know. Right. I, I just scroll right past him. I have him on little, some teams, and we're oh, just, we're sure, chilling. He was, we're yeah, chilling. Yeah, because there was value in the past. But this is how you fucking play this game. You don't. Right. You gotta adjust with the values, and he's a good player. I like Terry McLaurin. Uh, fantastic player. Terrible situation. Yeah. And there's another guy that I really like, Dotson, who's cheaper and like six years younger, at least, if not seven. And already, you know, I know there'll be some touchdown regression drink, but I mean, fuck, let me just, this is how we play the game. We passed on Ayuk when Debo was cheaper. We passed on Debo when Ayuk was cheaper. And, you know, it's just like, 
And that worked out both of those times. And now we have those guys on those teams. But this is a startup, and I'm probably avoiding Terry McLaurin. Well, yeah, the point of the whole conversation was like, hey, these are guys that we have kind of haven't been messing with. Let's make a little list of them and throw them out there. It's not that we dislike really any yeah. of these guys. It's just we haven't been we haven't been messing with them, so we figured it'd be a good thing to, to throw out there. And, and these this could all change, you know, within two months. The values could be good, and I could be looking right back at Terry you know, in a re- you know, it does come to a point where you you get in that draft and and those those like uh, Terry c- could be an elite player. He just doesn't isn't in the situation that really allows him to be as good as he necessarily could be. But you know, he does start to get into a little realm where he is definitely one of the better players left in, in on the board. But I'm always looking at, at somebody who's in a little bit better situation or a little bit younger. And like you said, Jahan Dotson, you could get him, and you know you get a little more time to wait that situation out. Exactly. Exactly. You reset in the clock by a major amount of time. Right. And it's, it's a similar, he's the Han Dotson's not as explosive, but he's a fucking good player. And he basically like scored a touchdown every game he played in. I feel like regression. Yeah, I know. I know, but there's just other players. I'm looking, you know, I'd rather have Deontay, you know, I'd rather probably take the swing on Zay flowers. You probably, can you get a late first for Terry McLaurin right now? Probably not. Maybe to the right person. Yeah. But so Terry McLaurin, who's next? Um, I'll just another, you know, I don't sound like a broken record. Is it's, it a running back? It's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not personal. Um, but Chubb at 58 and ADP for uh, DLF there. I'm, I've Chubb hasn't been in my queue. I haven't looked at him. Uh, none of that jazz there with him yeah he's never been in my queue either what are you, you know, supposed to do with this man rumored to be potentially on the trade block at one point with with cleveland uh now they haven't they haven't brought in anybody else um and kareem hunt is out of there and jerome ford is in so they may maybe they draft somebody I don't there's know, a mustache i don't know what their uh I, yeah jerome ford was on my mustache list i think uh for the while ago mm-hmm. um i don't know what the cleveland browns draft pick situation is um i don't think they have a ton uh because they traded for Deshaun watson and i don't know what that all entails but they could draft a running back but it probably wouldn't be high i i don't uh presume but it's basically just like look he could have a fantastic year he's probably going to have yeah. a fantastic year um, he never finishes strong he's he he's, always starts off high he's always he's he's a great player um and, Fantastic you know, player, one I, of the best pure runners in throw, the game. Throw, I could throw a little bit of more shade, and it's never been a problem. But he did have a serious knee injury at one one point, so maybe the you know maybe we're seeing the the twenty seven year old people running back kind of cliff. Maybe we're going to see that move back a year or two because everybody's been so hot and heavy, and a bunch of guys did fall off, and now that's like basically like well after twenty seven they all stink, and now maybe for a couple of years we might buck that trend but chubb maybe having a serious knee injury could be one of those guys in his in his bag could be one of those guys that maybe doesn't and and has been a little bit more of a workhorse type player rather than like an austin eckler who doesn't feel you know nearly as scary to draft um now if he's not on the chargers yeah it's definitely a little that's yeah i mean that's definitely a concern because man fuck the chargers man pay this fucking man some goddamn money like, what's yep. your fucking problem? He's your entire fucking offense. Like, I get it, Joe, Justin Herbert. But, like, right. you lean on this man because your wide receivers can't stay on the field and you just feed Eckler. He gets, like, so many touchdowns that's, that's and so Eck- many touches. Receptions. Like, he's. That's Eckler's view on it, too. He was like, I've just been out there. Well, crushing. he's two years late on this shit. Right. Like right. he's been fucking it's like it's like you show up early to work on your first fucking day. They start expecting you to show up early every day. <laughs> you know, like he played cheap for too many years. Now he's now he's too old. And now they're like, yeah, I guess you should go seek a trade. Yeah. What, what's crazy is them, I, I don't know what you do with with running backs. It stinks. I understand the market and yada, yada, yada. You know, spare me that fucking conversation. I understand it. It just stinks. I don't know what you can do about it, but it, it you know, it, you need to hold out earlier. Eckler. You need, you need a different union and a different salary cap for running backs yeah. or something, but it's just, yeah. what's wild is, is like a team will pay fucking some schlub, some slot shitty receiver, slot receiver, like 10 million, 10 million and not have a problem with it. And then, but God, shout out to Adam Humphreys. Cause he's my boy. Go tigers. But God forbid he could get 10 million a year, but you can't pay fucking Austin. Goddamn. Eckler. God forbid Austin Eckler gets 10 to 12 million a fuck? year. Uh, fucked up because shit, they're man. so replaceable, but you know, I don't think they, some of them, most, 
Sixty percent of them are replaceable. Austin Eckler is not easily replaceable, and I think yeah, the Chargers, good luck, Los Angeles. I think the Chargers that will, man. will find that out. And I, I, I hope Staley is is fucking out of there soon. That guy just drains the fuck out of me. And it's not. I'm not anti analytics. He just does some dumb shit sometimes. Where it's just, it's just, just like anything else. You just do it fucking too much. Just too much. And I like the analytics. Do your thing, but like sometimes you just he's got a punchable face. He's got to be fucking too much. So um, the Browns. Do they, they trade a second for Elijah Moore? Yes. So they only, they have two threes, two fours, two fives, a six and a seven. They got some picks. They could bring a running back in. Not, yeah. not that I'm worried about Chubb being yeah. displaced by any means, but just 27 older, and he's just never on my board. So I just I threw him on this Did list. Did you know he doesn't catch passes? And, and I mean, it's, he can catch passes. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty fucking good when they he don't does, throw dude. it to him very often. Um, so Nick Chubb on the list there for me. Um, I'll throw the next one out there, and it's a big co-submit for a, a, a satellite submission from, uh, from, <laughs> from Big Co. He said Calvin Ridley off the board for him. Uh, hasn't been drafting him. DLF ADP 85 and a half or 89 and a half rather. It's um, because his age. He said. And the he's, situation. He's, other good wide receivers 28. Here. Hadn't played in two years. By the time next season rolls around and maybe he wipes off some of that rust and comes in and crushes. He's he's 29. He's older. And Kirk's a little, you know, typically in the ones that we're doing, Kirk's about around earlier um, or around later rather. And he likes he likes the pieces that are around him and just worried about, you know, does, doesn't like the cost of Calvin Ridley. He said he's not drafting him if guys like Bateman and Canarius Tony are on the board. He'd rather take a swing on those guys than uh, Calvin Ridley. So Calvin Ridley. For, I just for remember how out. good right. Calvin Ridley was. Uh, yeah. So good. Remember, the, you don't broad jump off the line of scrimmage. So that right. worked out for Calvin Ridley's favor. And he was so good. Well, and now he's got Trevor, you know, and they need like Kirk and Zay Jones. Love those guys. Yeah, I think they're all Evan semi, Ingram. They're semi redundant receivers, all those guys. Right. They all kind of operate. Cal's got a little something extra. Yeah, I guess so. But he, here's the thing, you know, and, and and a lot of, you know, Calvin Ridley at 89. Uh, what did he go in this one? Eight, eighth round. And, eight, and three of the eight, morning three. I'm looking at now. At 29, even if Calvin Ridley has a pretty good season. Yeah, it's not going up. It's not going up. Yeah, look at the other guys. He like, could help you out, and that's not always the correct way to look at it. Yeah. Um, like, he's not, like, he's 28. Cal, uh, Keenan Allen is, what, two years 30, older than 30. him? Keenan's two years older. Mike Evans is two years older. Yeah, and those guys have been. New Hopkins are two years older. Those guys have been WR1s yeah, for a while. a while. Now, Ridley has been up in that, you know, but also has been a guy who missed some time throughout his career. Um, He's probably not getting past the eighth round ever again. So, so I get it. Big co out on uh, on him. Fair um, enough. In a startup. On DLF ADP, this never happens in our drafts, but I wanted to point out Aaron Rodgers at 67 and a half would never be looked at for me. In our drafts, sometimes... He's hanging around in the eighth, ninth, tenth round, and maybe I don't have a great third quarterback. I mean, and, seven five, no way. And I will, uh, I will take take the shot on Aaron Rodgers if I don't have a great second or or a great third, and hope I get two good years out of him. But it's just it's too much volatility to be drafting him up that high. You know, yeah. Rodgers could be fucking one and done for the Jets easily if he doesn't like what the hell's right. going that's on that's the hang up here because he's already damn near 40 they want too much and the jets are like i don't know if we're gonna get more than one year out of him i like yeah. the daniel jones uh sol- I, solution which is like it's a conditional pick I, next yeah, year if he right. plays and, and puts up four thousand yards then you give him what they want I but think, if he doesn't you don't get it I, th- I think he's for sure gonna play for the jets for one year here um mostly i think because he wants to go f you the packers a little bit here yeah um, and maybe that's enough for him to play for two more years. Uh, but I can't pay that price. And I haven't seen that price that high. But as soon as I saw it on there, I said, no way, sir. Um, it's a lot of money on the table for him mm-hmm. over the next two years. But I guess he doesn't need $100 million. Who doesn't need an hundred million dollars though? You yeah, know, that's I mean, like a tenth sure. of a billion. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I'm sure he's going to a fifth out. after you fuck or a uh, 5% after you fucking, uh, taxes and yeah. shit especially in new york yeah. but um he clearly doesn't need the money but like man that's a lot of money so 
All right. Well, I think we're way over six here. That was um, six. Wasn't that it? was six. Well, I mean, you had like fucking th- a bunch to start off with. One. That was six. That's seven. I think Spot. actually. Arby's, Tua, Lance, Terry, Chubb. I did talk about DJ Moore. Yeah. Bonus. Ridley, Aaron Rodgers. That's eight. All right. Let's let's throw. We'll do one more or maybe two more. Mix in real quick. I'm probably mostly avoiding him just because it seems like. Stop breaking! It's <laughs> pretty much just seems like, man, we're really just flirting with disaster. A uh, little Molly hatchet there. Um, just man, just really just I, I can't I can't fuck with him. I just can't. Yeah. I mean, can't it seems like him. at any day he can get cut with and, and Zeke comes in or something. Yeah, I don't I don't know. But I'm just regardless of the price, I'm probably just not rostering him right now. Just, Speaking of stop breaking the law, Alvin Kamar is probably another one you're not fucking with in the startup. No, not really. I just although just, pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm mixing right now at 93 is really cheap, too. I mean, good player. I just, I got a bet with Big Co that Mixon outlasts Eckler in the league, and that's not looking good. <laughs> Mixon could be out of the league tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so. Well, was that barring that, breaking the there, law? There wasn't any There uh, wasn't any stippies? No, no stippies. <laughs> um, I hate myself. <laughs> yeah, let's throw let's throw one more guy in there, and I don't think either one of us wants to really put him on there. But we're both agreed that we never we're never really looking, never at, looking him at him when him. he gets drafted. Debo Samuel. Yeah, and sorry, Debo. I think a little bit for hesitation for me is the cannibalization with CMC that they're. I think the offense now is very multiple, and they can do a lot of different things. But CMC seems to suck some of the floor out of Debo that that you felt pretty good about. Did you have a button? Honestly, no. Oh, okay, I seem, thought you had a sound. <laughs> Sorry, I, thought you no, had a I was going to cut there. to the Casey close up. Um, Case cam. <laughs> but you know, I it's 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 probably not necessarily warranted. I think I think it. I don't think it's the worst value ever where you where you have to take him. Sixty four DLF ADP. I think he's usually around the sixth ish round uh, for us where we're drafting, um, and uh, six. Three in this particular draft, and uh, let's scroll over here. Uh, five twelve. So, you know, I don't, I don't know that that's the, he's going to give you some really, really good games. And I, you know, I think if Purdy can be back for most of the season, five two in this other one, you, you got to feel a whole lot better about Debo. If Lance is playing, you feel a lot. I feel a lot worse about all my Niners assets because they've really. Anytime that Lance comes in, they treat him like he's a damn fullback and just run him around all over the place. Um, which you know, you well, hope, that, that's, you that's a very more, small sample size, right? right? That was like the, his rookie year where they were the rookie, had packages for him to come well, in and so, yeah, so run, and, he, and maybe he played, he played he like played, one game, right? Right, and where then, he scored eighteen fucking fantasy points, and then came in in the monsoon and, and yada the yada monsoon yada, and but, then injured the next game. Right. So not even like. No, but it just it wasn't it w- wasn't necessarily what you wanted to see, and and I feel I feel less great about um, the your fantasy assets with with Lance. So there's a little bit of that. Seems like Purdy's going to be the guy, but uh, just not looking at at Debo right now in most of these startups. Um, I'll, I'll even even really Ayuk I I usually miss. Um, I'm look Ayuk's in my queue though. Ayuk I'm usually like is in my queue. I'm keeping Ayuk. an eye on him. Um, yeah, in that last in, in the in the Dynasty Trades episode that you and Big Co did, um, Big Co was like basically trying to say the Ayuk's out of there. I didn't know that that was like a thing. Why would they trade Ayuk? Like they were they've been talking about it just. If you can get, if you have Super Bowl aspirations, he's sure. under contract. There, there's you're not part of that, fucking partying it's, with it's also, right now. It's also that if you're not going to pay him, why not get something for him? Well, it's it the whole part like, of it. If you want to win, you if know, you want to win, you keep the fucking good player. You rebuild. How can you rebuild and retool and, at the same time? At the same time, haven't dropped that episode yet. I don't know if it'll be out before this one or after this one, but yeah. I, is there rumors of that? Yeah, for sure, for sure, Ho show. Well, I think I think whether he stays or goes, Ayuk is a fucking great player. If he goes, it's even better. And I he's think. so young. He's great. And not so he's young, not but he's young. still. He's, what is he? Twenty four, twenty five. Uh, no, he went to JUCO, so he's definitely a little older. Twenty five. I don't know when the birthday is though. So. I think he had to. It was like twenty four all last year, so he must be like recent twenty five. Twenty five, March seventeenth. Yeah, just turned twenty five. Yeah. So that's that's still. Young. Yeah, I love Ayuk for the future, and he'll and have, you've already seen the maturation of right. Ayuk, right? right? He sure. had to, he sure. got out of the fucking doghouse. Sure, plenty of those fucking guys 
Never hear from him again. He fucking found his way out, and then just, I just, all I can like he's undeniable. got these he's long ass arms. All I just I can picture him just snatching fucking balls out of the air and running them into the end zone he's, for touchdowns. He's an elite separator and a red zone threat, and just I mean, a I would yak love, guy. I would like, love for him to be on the Niners because it makes this again very multiple. But yeah, I don't think you can pay him. And man, money's fake. Yeah, but they they're paying. They got a lot of big time guys. Just, that they're paying. You just re-sign them. You just restructure and give him a signing bonus. He ain't coming. He ain't coming in for free. I tell you that he's gonna want his money. As give it he to should. him as he should. Yeah, you're not. You're not gonna be able to afford him. You just you just re, renegotiate and signing bonus. That's how you get around the salary cap. And they got money. It's not like they're fucking Al Davis's son who doesn't fucking have any money, so he can't pay a little magic oh, they'll, shit. They'll, like, they'll, uh, they had to move to Vegas to get some fucking money. <laughs> they'll. They'll try to figure it out, I'm sure, if they can, but I don't know that they will be able to. So, but too many paid players. I mean, what are you going to get for him if you trade him? It's like, is that worth not having him on this year's run? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you get it. Maybe you can get a you like. Know, I'm not a second and a third. I got Keenan him, Allen on a couple of teams, and I I should have been trying to sh- trade him for a few years. But I, looking back, he he's helped me compete and i'm trying to win i have a sure, winnable team so sure. i'm not i'm gonna key and is gonna die on my team i'm gonna end up not being able to get anything for him but so, i had a wide receiver one ish for years that helped me basically get to the playoffs almost every single time again, right if he can stay healthy right so i'm like i'm not gonna just cut bait and get what i can because i'm not gonna be able to fucking pay him or keep him in dynasty well it makes it makes we're, we're talking about the actual NFL. But they're trying though. to win they are trying to what win. what do they but, care about they picks could, if they're they gonna win probably win without Ayuk. Is you know you get a second and a third and and Man, I was crucial for them. You take another Debo, shot. You can't. Debo might not stay healthy. Take another shot on the receiver that Kittle they like. goes in and out. They 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 feel confident in their drafting abilities. Look look what they've done. Like they have their misses, but they have their giant hits. And if you can, they, I, uh, they're, prob- a G. they're probably not going to. Um, and he's seemingly going to stay a Niner, and they'll probably try to figure it out. But um, I think he'd be better served as a fantasy asset elsewhere. I get it, but he's still only twenty five. Game to game, every he'd game, be somewhere game else. To, and every game starter with, I think he'd move up a few rounds if he went somewhere and was like, for sure their their guy that they that they paid a little bit to get. Well, and they they just pump it to him like the Niners are just they'll spread it around. They'll they'll do a lot of different They're things. Fucking good. I mean, Ajax great. Uh, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we've exhausted this topic. I'm I don't exhausted. even. I don't even like this topic. I want to buy players. I want to find the values. I don't want to be like must avoid. But that's what you got to fucking well, do. Well, well, we framed it in a nicer way of just hey, we've been doing drafts and haven't know, taken these. Guys. Haven't taken these guys. Haven't, haven't been looking haven't been at them. The list. Haven't been looking at them. So Not necessarily must avoids. Yeah. Well, must avoid. Hit that. Hit that thing right there. That yeah. Right there. Just hit that. Just tap it in. Just go to your home. Are you too good for your home? I uh, appreciate y'all for joining us. If you're listening on the podcast, hit me with that five star review. iTunes, Spotify. What else are you listening on? If you don't have Spotify, what are you doing? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> At least a web version of it. Definitely hit subscribe. Appreciate y'all for joining us. We're doing all kind of Patreon stuff. We got extra shows, mock drafts. We're talking about mock drafts. We're reviewing people's teams. We're we're doing all kind of shit. Discord channel, five dollar holler. Mm-hmm. You're missing out. Help us make this ADP. We're gonna have that ready to roll here in like the next week and a half, maybe. We do have a draft form. We need to get out to them to see if they would like any edits made to it. Get some feedback from them. Pleasure yep. Chester's on for sure. How to how to aesthetically make that thing look usable because man there's no man i don't know we, we need to figure this out because we could create something where we could get all of the things we want like there's no tight end premium fucking fantasy points anywhere you got to go to like a, a my fantasy league which i don't want to ever fucking go back to that site <laughs> and like you can't find points per game on fucking sleeper and you can't sort like it's just I can't get everything I want in one place. It's wild that Yahoo Sports or fucking ESPN or somebody hasn't fucking figured out how to put all the shit together in one place to be able to sort what you want. Right. It's wild. Yeah. I mean, I'll pay you. It's fun. You guys, you guys keep coming and keep listening. We'll keep making. We'll figure it out. Clickbait videos like this. <laughs> and, uh, but 
We have more fun in it. We're putting the fun back in fantasy. That's what the F is for. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're your favorite Dynasty podcast. Favorite Dynasty podcast. Don't get it twisted. One hundo. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Peace.